They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them or the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Your family background is so interesting, I just wonder if you uh, tell us a little bit about it. Well, I'm told that my father was smuggled over into this country from Lithuania, Russia, I wasn't sure, when he was a baby because of, of the Jews being ousted out with the pogroms. And we came to this country and settled here. Uh, he worked in various jobs and tailoring and he went factory work for a while. He, um, of course, he joined the army in the First World War, which is... My father was in the Royal Fusiliers. Uh, I found a badge once for the Royal Warwickshire Regiment, but maybe he was in that for a short while, as, as happens. Apparently, my father joined the army, saying he was a year older than he really was, because he really wanted to join up. And uh, papers were fiddled with and whatever, never noticed in those days. Um, when I was a, a teenager, he used to wait for me to come home at night, so I didn't get in any trouble, I suppose, and I arrived home. But he would regale me with all these stories of when he was in the army. And on the first day he joined, he said he was having a wash and hot, went for the towel, and it had been nicked. Pinched, gone. So he thought the only way to get one is to do the same thing. He <laughs> said so that's how you survived at the time. <laughs> so, he, you know, all these little stories came along. He was in Egypt. It was hot. He used to say you could fry an egg in the sand. Did he talk about fighting at all? No, he didn't. Ever. No, we didn't get that side of it at all. Apart from the fact that there was um, a medallion he had which he eventually gave to me, um, a gold medallion. It was Turkish on one side. And we thought maybe he would belonged to a, 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 um, a soldier from the other side, but never got any story. It was a bit odd, really, that. We didn't want to go into it too much. It didn't sound good. on my mother's side, my yes. mother's father. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, they also escaped as refugees, immigrants, whatever, to Britain and settled in Hull. He was an immigration officer there, met my grandmother and fell for her. And so she was a Yorkshire woman, used to tease her about her accent. Now I have a granddaughter living there. Um, my uncle was we told was in the Royal Fly, Flying Corps during the First World War, uh, which became the Royal Air Force. Don't know much about it, you didn't talk about it much. Oh, we found out that my father was an alien, which was quite a, uh, amusing at the, at the time we find, found out. But at the same time, a bit weird. Um, he came out of the army, was uh, told he'd become an, he could become a naturalised British citizen, uh, being a bit lazy about it didn't bother and had to sign on at the local police station every year as an alien, which we didn't find out till he died. And I thought, my goodness, my father the alien. <laughs> my sister and I used to joke about it at the same time, a bit weird. Um, and then eventually he was a British citizen. And he'd fought, of course, for Britain, hadn't he? Yes. The war. And, and uh, how old was he when he became a British citizen? Oh, about 70-something. Se oh, it was when he was 70. They, they didn't bother with him anymore. He was automatically became British. So I think I've got a very mixed background, haven't I? Yes. yes. Not with aliens and whatnot. No little green men, of course. Yes. <laughs>